So right now, I'm having a lot of thoughts and feelings, and I'm having a lot of thoughts and feelings about why my thoughts and feelings are wrong, and I'm having a lot of thoughts and feelings about why I should validate my thoughts and feelings. Long story short, I'm at a place where I am feeling, I don't want to say unhappy, because I'm happy. I love my life, I love my home, I love my husband and my children, but this domestic engineer has cleaned the bathrooms and swept and mopped and changed the sheets and the stuff. I've done the cleaning stuff enough to drive me a little cuckoo. And right now, just doing the bare minimum, like the laundry and the dishes and cooking, I'm struggling. I'm struggling to get that done. And this domestic engineer is going to hire a third party contractor just once. I just need a clean slate. I need someone else to come in and do the things. I need someone else to come in and clean the toilets and clean the shower and scrub the sink. And there's a part of me that feels so guilty for doing that. Like shame on me for utilizing a service that a company provides. You know what's even dumber? I used to be a house cleaner, fun fact. It was one of my first jobs as a teen, other than babysitting. I used to clean my aunt's house. I would clean offices with my cousin when I was like 14. And even from my early adulthood years into my early 20s, I cleaned houses and offices, not my main job, but it was on the side. And I don't, why, why, like, why would I feel guilty about utilizing a service that I literally used to provide to people? I think it's just that mentality that I need to rally and just do it on my own. And so much of my content is that, like, me not wanting to clean, but you taking you guys along for the ride while I just get it done. And those videos are good and fun, and this YouTube channel has made dealing with mundane tasks very enjoyable for me and I just need somebody else to do it for me just like just one time and just get everything to a manageable point because right now I don't want to say like things are so far gone but it feels like it's all at a point where I can't catch up unless I ask for help. So I put in a cleaning request for tomorrow morning. This is like all very last minute, but after an appointment with uh, my doctor today, I really just kind of was like, not only do I need to do this because it needs to get done, like I need to do it for like my mental well-being, especially since Josh has been doing so much traveling for work over the course of the last month and just left today on a last minute, just a short work trip, but still it's like, again, like I don't have my support system and I want to be able to not feel guilty about the things that aren't done and just enjoy my time with my kids. I just need a clean slate and I need somebody else to give it to me. So assuming that the cleaning will happen tomorrow, I need to clean my house in preparation for the cleaning. And I'm not gonna do a full blown clean because I'm gonna be embarrassed for the cleaner to see the state my house is in. It's just like, I just need to pick toys up off the floor so they can vacuum and put sheets out and stuff and um, just make sure that clutter is off of the counter because they don't know where my crap goes. I don't even know where half my crap goes. Maybe I'll do a fast video of where I just put all my stuff away or maybe we'll just flash forward to a beautiful clean house tour and me feeling very relieved and grateful so let's see where this video goes okay so I just got the confirmation email for tomorrow morning <laughs> this is ridiculous like this is how bad that I need this and I feel I feel so selfish. Like there's people out there with like real problems and this feels so stupid and trivial. But then again, dab dab, I need to remind myself that everybody's lives and situations are unique. And my unique situation happens to be that I, for my mental well-being, and I need somebody else to come in and clean my house. So also, it's three people. It's three people that are coming in, which makes me feel better because normally it's just me. And my husband is a very great husband and he probably helps more around the house than your average bear. But, all right, I'm done thinking and saying things. It's time to clean so people can come and clean my house. Yay. Alrighty, so I've 
naturally done some more thinking. I've had a heart to heart with myself, if you will. And I think that a lot of the guilt that I'm having around this comes from the fact that I'm a stay at home mom and I should be cleaning my house. It's my job, right? And when I think of people who get their houses cleaned, I am thinking of people who are very well off financially and women who work full time corporate jobs and are never home. But then also it's like, I can pay for this service and it is not going to make or break our family. I did get a quote that would have not been financially beneficial for us. I got a quote from a cleaning company. It was $608. And maybe for some people that is affordable, wonderful for you, not for us. So I had the thought, wouldn't it be fun if I did a, I got a $608 quote for cleaning. And instead of paying that, I sent my husband off with the kids for the day and I'm going to pretend that I'm a house cleaner again and I'm going to deep clean my house. And that actually just sounded like a really freaking miserable idea. Why should I spend my alone time? Why should I send my husband off to go spend time with our kids so I can be home alone just cleaning our house? No sorry, Bob. That doesn't sound like a good time. And maybe if I wasn't burnt out like I am now, that could be a cool fun idea, but not right now. No thank you. So... I reached out to a cleaning company that I had actually used in the past and it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. The, there was just a situation where like the lady didn't actually clean my house and it all got resolved, but it led me to want to reach out to somebody else. Anyway, this company is about half the price, which is much more doable. So I'm feeling like I'm worthy of having my house cleaned by somebody else. Just because I can do it doesn't mean I have to do it every single day flipping time. Also, I'm about to be 32 years old and I really can't think of a better birthday gift that I could give myself. So happy birthday to me. Look at that positive mindset I have now. So I'm home. The cleaners are gone. The house smells lovely. We're going to start off on a positive note. Um, I don't want to be ungrateful because the house is in significantly better condition than it was left in. There's no dust but I don't want to be extra judgy because of my past experience as a house cleaner, but then also like clean is clean. And just let's go, let's go for a tour of my house and then where I nitpick a few things and you can tell me if I'm being a naggy Nancy. I don't think that's the right term, but whatever. You can tell me if I'm being dramatic about the situation. So let's go. Okay, so it looks lovely. Uh, Josh accidentally broke that light fixture. So that's why that looks like that. This is what our house looks like when it's clean. Oh, it really is. It's lovely. But when I walked over here, that's what I saw. Like, I know we dump our ashes in there, but you couldn't, you couldn't move that. Does that not count as part of vacuuming? I don't know. I mean, I guess everybody makes a bed a little bit different, but That's, that's not how I'd do it. I don't know if that's just me being particular, but it looks poorly done. But otherwise, the rest of the room looks good to me. Everything's nice and dustless. Just the bed. It gets me every time. To the bathroom look at that okay see this makes me happy this is really what i wanted anyway i wanted the shower cleaned the tub isn't a big deal for me but it's just like i hate the shower and i hate toilets i clean them i know some people are just like oh i hate cleaning my toilet so i don't do it but i'm like i'm gonna show you my toilet look at that okay so that's that bathroom um the first thing i really paid attention to was alex's room he is sleeping right now. His room looks lovely, though I was transferring him from the car into his bed, so I didn't really have a chance to look very thoroughly in there. I'll let you know if there's anything else that I need to complain about in there. But the living room, very nice, um, except for that fuzz feels weird. And like, did you? Did you go back there? Like there's some something back there that didn't get vacuumed up. And like the toys that got left, that car, that toy. Okay, so cleaning up people's clutter isn't a part of their service, but if you found a toy, wouldn't you, I don't know, just like toss it in the toy bin. 
like you're in the living room. I don't know. That's what I would have done in the past. I wouldn't have just like left something in a random spot. Like, I don't know, set it on the table. That's, that's where my mind goes with this. And then, okay, they didn't mop. And that pisses me off because that's something that I really, really wanted done. Like that was one of the things I'm like, if I'm going to do this, like a big benefit is they're going to mop, right? No. Like that's not a stain. I mean, it is a stain, but like, it's not something that can't get cleaned off. I knew that they didn't mop, but it's just like, I don't know, seeing that just like made me more irritated. I haven't, but like, okay, over here, like this is where the boys eat. And like, there's obviously a spill down there. And it's like, it's not a stain, but no, they didn't mop. I'm just having feelings. About the bathroom. Oh, see, this just brings me so much joy. The boys actually don't use this tub, but I cleared it out. It doesn't hurt to have a, a clean if I'm paying for it. And then they also got the gross stains off of the boy pee toilet. Three and a half stars. We haven't gotten to Jackson's room yet. Here we go. Kind of same janky bed situation, but I mean, it's... This is really honestly probably the best that I would have been able to do because it's a weird like floor. He doesn't, his loft bed is a play area. But like they organized his stuff better than I had it organized and dusted all that in there. I'm like wondering, did they actually, yep, they did actually move the stuff. So I'm thinking that I am going to reach out and just be like, hey, what the hell? And I'm sure it's gonna be like last time, they're gonna send somebody out to come and mop my floors. And now I need to go and check the, the bathroom floors to see if those were mopped. I went with the budget cleaners. I didn't spend the $608. So, I mean, I get what I get, but if it takes me complaining to get somebody to come back out here and clean the floors, then so be it. Um, I mean, it's, it is what it is. Okay, so I called and left a voicemail with the cleaning company and just kind of like explained what happened. It was basically like, is there a certain level of mopping that I shouldn't expect? Like if it doesn't come up on the first swipe, are you not going to, is it just like it stays? It's you're not gonna use a little elbow grease. Um, so they texted me back and were basically like, sorry, we'll reach out to the cleaning team and like see what they say basically like if they mopped or not so i sent pictures and i was just like this is you know pictures for reference um i don't want to be the naggy client and that's what i'm like struggling with right now like the fact that like i have to complain about something um but it just doesn't feel like this is something that should have been left behind so i will wait and see i was really hoping for the best and now instead of like a uh, fun, I hired a cleaning service. Um, this is my clean house tour. This has turned into like my weird experience. A fire moment. Yeah, fire moment. Wrong keys. Oh. Well, they're the right keys. Well, once for them. As I was saying, like I did get my clean slate. I got my clean slate, but then also like, oh, I didn't. I. My floor isn't mopped and I paid for my floor to be mopped and now I have to deal with the fact that my floor isn't mopped. So that's that. We'll see where this journey takes us. I might have to write a review. I don't like writing reviews. I don't like writing bad reviews. If I have a really great experience, I'll write a good review. But, but at this point, this is just one of those weird experiences that stands out enough to me that I feel like I need to complain about it publicly on the internet. And I mean, I guess here we are, so. Look at this bed, isn't it nice? I made it. Okay, so this is day three of the Cleaner Chronicles. Uh, day one, the breakdown and the scheduling. Day two, the cleaning and the disappointment. Day three, we're gonna see where day three takes us. So a little bit of uh, yesterday after I complained about the things and then was like feeling bad about complaining about the things, but was like, uh, I should reach out about the fact that like they obviously didn't mop. So I noticed in Jackson's bathroom that they didn't dust or clean the baseboards in there, which was something that I paid extra to have done. They didn't mop in there as well. So I reached out to the company again. I was like, hey, this also didn't get done. And they were closed at that point. So like, I just got an automated message that like they'd get back to me today. So after seeing that, I just felt like, okay, so 
like the bed was made really weird like it didn't get mopped there was like the shelf in the laundry room that, like they dusted some of it but like decided I'm not gonna dust past like this certain point it was just like too many red flags that like I couldn't ignore and I'm like okay this is the point now where I need to go through my house with a fine tooth comb and a magnifying glass and like really be that person so Jackson's faucet on his sink wasn't cleaned all the way like they didn't clean in between the cracks on there which I like it's not done <laughs> it's not done I don't like being the client that's complaining because I know what it's like to be the cleaner that's getting complained to but then also like if you're not doing the thing you're not doing the thing so like I have to remind myself that like I paid for a service it didn't get completed like my shower the door wasn't cleaned all the way like the runner wasn't cleaned all the way the handle was cleaned only part way it was just so many things that it's like we're gonna do it a little bit but we're not gonna do it all the way and then in Alex's room he has his baby camera in there that I use and I would not normally go back on footage to see people cleaning I feel like that's rude and gross and weird but when I went in there I was like I don't think that they vacuumed so because there was like a piece of trash that was just left on the floor I was like I'm gonna go just back and see if they vacuumed they did but then like there was the trash and then like some other stuff that it's like I'm gonna vacuum over here but I'm not gonna vacuum over there and like I'm not gonna sweep behind his door and I did get a glimpse of the mop that they use and it's a Swiffer sweeper so it's not a mop it's a Swiffer sweeper and you're cleaning the floor with a baby wipe it's not a mop it's a baby wipe that you're cleaning the floor with essentially I, I could have done that if I really wanted to but I didn't I paid somebody to do it ah! I just don't I don't like this experience <sighs> this is like this is the feeling that I had last time it didn't feel like oh I got my house clean like it didn't feel good and so like fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me like the lady in the text today when she said that she was gonna send somebody out today she's like oh like I promise this will never happen again it's like oh that's what you said last time so Moving forward, if I ever in the future get to the point where I'm like, I, you know, need somebody to help, I need to put the ball in somebody else's court, I, I'm not going to use this company again. And like, they're a local based company, so I'll leave a review on their like local Google. So, um, I don't know, if you see my review out there, then you know who I used. But I mean, it's, it sucks because like the first cleaning I had with them was amazing. It was so, so good but they don't use the same people every time. And it, like, it's a cleaning company. So you know that there's a significant turnover rate. So that's that. Greetings from my new clean, actually clean and mopped floor. So the cleaner who came to fix everything, she was like, you know, what's going on? Show me the things. So I showed her the things. She said that all of my concerns were valid. Um, I don't know, maybe she just told me that to make the cranky customer happy. But if I were to have a clean in the future, um, I think that I would probably request her. I don't know. It's like, I don't want to have to try and find another company when I like already know that I can get these people to come back and fix their stuff if they mess it up. Uh, it just would have been nice to not have to deal with the stress of like coming home, expecting a clean house and then not getting it after like mentally beating myself up so much for like doing this in the first place, but it's all resolved now. It's all taken care of. I'm happy and content and moving forward. So yeah, this, this video took a weird spirally turn. So I guess thanks for hanging out and joining me for this weird shenanigans. I will say it will probably be a significant period of time before I do this again. I just needed a clean slate. I got it. I feel very relieved and just like less overwhelmed. And there's nothing like a clean slate to just create, you know, motivation to keep it that way. And especially when you spend money on it. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day, weekend, night, evening, morning, whatever you've got going on right now. And that's that. I will see you all in the next one. As always, I love you. Have fun and be kind. Oh, my back.